How are we doing, folks? And welcome, as always, to another episode of Sunshine Toys and Collectibles, Captain's Corner. I'm Brian, one of your hosts, and like I said, as always, we appreciate you checking in. Now, normally, if you're new here, what we do, we go through the latest additions to our collections. What Mama might have got, she might have got something new for her Toy Story collection, maybe. Maybe I got some new Captain America stuff. Maybe I got some new Funkos. Maybe some new action figures. Well, not this time. Not this episode. What I am showing you today is the very oldest thing I have in my Captain America collection. What could it be? I guess you'll have to find out in the next section. Tune in with me. Let's go. Okay. Now, how old is everybody out there? How, how old are you? Okay. Uh, how old are you? Okay, now me, I will be 53 next month. So now what does that mean exactly? Now, that means I grew up in a generation that maybe had an imagination. Uh, we used to play outside. We used to play with war. We used to play guns. We used to play cars. We used to play bike. All sorts of stuff outside that required a little bit of imagination. Now, my toy... One of my toys back that I, my earliest memories of toys anyway, the ones that I remember were Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels were ones that were cheap. Everybody could afford a Hot Wheels, you know what I mean? And some people had more than others, but usually yeah, everybody had one or two of them. And of course, the epitome for me in the Hot Wheels world, the, the, the creme de la creme, if you would, would be the Captain America Hot Wheels. Now, uh, there's not just one. There's two of them that I have in my collection. Actually, I have multiples in my collection. But these two are the oldest. And these two are the oldest pieces in my collection. So, let's check them out. Let's get going here. Now, first, we'll start out with the Hot Bird. This is the 1977 Captain America Hot Wheels Hot Bird. So... There she goes. Now, of course, as always, I will put this on a spinner at the end of the video so you can get my nasty fingers out of the way. But for being almost 50 years old, you can see that this car is in really, really solid shape. And I'm so happy to find it and so happy to add it to my collection. I do have the entire Captain America Hot Wheels set. Now, there is one two-pack that I don't have, but it's a duplicate of a car I have in multiple other packs, so I, I, I technically, I guess I'm not complete, but I have the car. I just need to get that two-pack, but I have every version of every Hot Wheels car that I've ever seen, and this one, like I said, is the absolute Mac Daddy of them all right there. This is, again, the 1977 Hot Bird. They had several different varieties of this car, versions of this paint job, I should say. Very popular car for that year. Several different versions of this paint job, but only one Captain America Hot Bird for the Hot Wheels. So, again, stick around to the end of the video, and you'll see it up close and personal on the spinner. So, from there, we go to my second oldest piece, which, of course, again, Captain America... You got the GMC camper van. Now again, for this is from 1978, pretty good shape. A little bit scratch on it, but you, I, I guess you would appreciate that for something that's been played with or expect that. I should say not appreciate, but gotta expect a little bit of wear and tear for something that uh, that's 45 years old. I know I got some wear and tear, so but pretty sweet. And the nice thing about this one. I don't know if you can see that or not. That back window there. Back in the day, they had these little inserts that you peek in that window and there'd be a little picture on the inside of there. And nine times out of ten, they don't work. Well, this one actually works. So what I'm going to do, again, stick around to the end of the video. I will make sure and get an up-close shot of that. And you can see exactly what's inside of the Captain GMC camper van. Because... Cap, after kicking butt all day, has got to have a place to relax at night, you know, and this is definitely that. So, these are some of my favorite pieces, and I was super stoked to have them, and I, let me know what you think about them. Did you grow up playing with Hot Wheels when you were a kid, or what was your go-to 
toy when you were a child, when you were younger, what was the thing that you gravitated to the most? Let me know in the comments. Again, I'm Brian, Sunshine Toys and Collectibles, Captain's Corner. We appreciate you checking in. We picked up a couple of subscribers last week, and hello to you guys. We definitely appreciate you new subscribers, and thanks again. And all you old subscribers, we appreciate you too. We can't do this without you. So, again, if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button. Leave us a comment. Say hello. Last but not least, turn on those notifications, and you'll see all these videos when they come out in the future. So, Everybody have a good week, and we will see you next week on the next version of Sunshine Toys and Collectibles, Captain's Corner. Have a good one. Bye-bye.